Beaner. Wetback. Orange picker. These words are used every day as well as more offensive phrases being used by people who feel superior and see others as lower individuals. Racism. So what is racism? Being called names because of your race, skin color, ethnicity, descent, or immigrant status. Racism can be an everyday fact for college students. Not even realize that they are making assumptions about people of color. Students of color can feel isolated because of this treatment. Racism is more than just prejudice. It's not just saying, I don't like black people or I don't like white people. This treatment can eventually lead to students dropping out, transferring schools, violence, or even suicide. In this graph, African Americans are purple, Latinos are pink, and whites are green. In this bar graph, I went up by six. Male African Americans have a 32% chance of going to prison throughout their lifetimes, while Latinos have a 17% chance of going to prison. And whites have a 6% chance of going to prison. Nearly half of all hate crimes committed in America have to do with race. In New York, 80% of police stops were made on blacks and Latinos. People who are racist don't see through your skin color. They just assume that if one person is bad, then all of them are. That is called stereotyping. We need to stop racism, and we can't do it without everyone's help, including our government and our new president. We, as the greatest nation in the world, need to respect each other as equal individuals. It doesn't matter what your skin color, race, ethnicity, country of origin, or immigrant status is. Today, we're in the year of 2017. Eight years ago, the first African-American president was elected by the people. Now, in just days, Donald Trump will become a 45th president. As a citizens in this country, many of us don't agree with Donald Trump's beliefs and opinions. Many of us are now wondering what Donald Trump will do to help this country. Are we going to advance as a society or are we going back to the years of extreme racism and racial discrimination? My question now is to you, Mr. Trump. What will you do as our country's new leader? A wall would definitely not stop it. On the contrary, it will regenerate racism in this and in other countries as well. We the people and the government have to work together and create new ways to combat racism and obtain the equality that we have been fighting for over decades. Even though we had an African American president, to this day, we still have many injustices towards black, Latino, Muslim, and even the white people in our country. We need to start act taking action and stand up for what is right, and defend the rights that are guaranteed all people by our nation's constitution. As a society, we have advanced, but not to the point where we can say racism is over. We have elected a president who doesn't display respect towards minorities. Now I ask you, will the president help us combat racism or feed the growing beast? Let's be realistic. How can Donald Trump help us decrease racism when he calls illegal immigrants rapists and criminals?